Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Animal Crossing Every Day. I am playing Animal Crossing Every Day. You're watching it. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. High five. Bam. I threw out a high five into the world. And hopefully somebody out there who's watching the show will be able to reciprocate in kind and re reply with a high five from far away. And I'll feel it. Maybe not right now because I'm not posting this video at the same time that I'm recording it. But maybe later when I'm like sleeping or whatever, someone's going to high five and I'm going to wake up. Like, ah! Oh, I got hit on the hand. Oh, that took me by surprise. Like a ghost. Like a ghost. You know what I'm talking about? Helpful hips. Helpful hips. <laughs> Valence for happy homemakers. Every piece of furniture has a function. For example, if your dresser faces the wall, it's useless that the function guide you. Thank you, sir. What a lovely sentiment that is. Somebody really worked their ass off with that letter. We have a special offer in a stunning kitty bureau. There's always a wide variety of other items as well. Why not stop by? Sounds like you got a little drunk right there, Mr. Nuke. Got really sad at the end of that s sentence. You okay, Nick? You alright? You having problems there, dude? Everything okay at home? Is everything not okay at home? You can tell me. I'm a licensed therapist. You know, um, I probably shouldn't be talking about this since, as a licensed therapist, you're supposed to keep all that kind of stuff under wraps. But I am absolutely a licensed therapist. Where do they get the license from? Don't worry about it. Is the license for therapy? Don't worry about it. All you need to know is I have a license and I am a therapist. So I think we can all agree I'm a licensed therapist by manipulating words. Anyway, don't look into it too much. Okay, let's not let's uh, ba, 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 ba. let's not get too bogged down in specifics. Okay, I'm a therapist. That's all that's necessary to know. Oh, uh, un painting. We definitely have apples before, though, don't we? I'm pretty sure we have apples. Um, but I'll buy it anyway, just to see. Just to see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we got apples. We got apples before. I don't know what the name of the painting is, but it's the one with the apples. And I mean that in this and in real life. I want to buy the apples, please. Give me the apples. Give me apples. A perfect painting. The audacity of them to say that they would like a perfect painting and it's just a painting of apples. I'm going to go and say I don't believe that that is perfect. I'll buy some girders too, please. How much for your big set of girders? I accept. I'm going to buy some items and then sell them back just to get some raffle tickets. Because that's a good technique. I will not be caught out by the, the devious raffle. Not again. No, sir. They got me once. And they will not get me twice. I actually think they have got me twice. But they'll not get me a third time. So, come on, guys. Do you guys need a therapist? I, I know a guy. And that guy is me. And I can do it. And you know what? I'll do it for free. Just give me some raffle tickets. And I'll help. I'll be able to help you out with whatever uh, problem you have. Is it home life? Are you having a problem getting girls? What am I selling? I'm trying to buy this stupid fucking dresser. Give me the dresser. I'm right here, dude. Give me the dresser. You guys have problems with, like... Understanding what people want from you. And that's fine. I can help you out with that. I understand that you want to help people as much as you can. But you have to understand that people have free will. They do what they want. And they, they have their own desires. And your good intentions are not. They will not uh, bow to your will. You have to be able to let people go. And let them understand for themselves. That the world is a big place. That your your guiding hand will not always be there. And you have to as well admit and understand that your guiding hand may not be the end all and be all of things. That other people have their own wants and needs that, that are outside of your your ability to help. Remember that, kids. See, I'm a licensed therapist. 
I'm real good. What do you want? Hello, I'll help you. Shovel in the head? That's a tough one. Tough one to figure out. It really is. Let me see. Do you guys all have problems? I'll figure it out. The weather forecast was right. What a nice day. I wonder how they know. I bet it's just a lucky guess. Uh, no, of course it's not a lucky guess. See, you are not having enough faith in the technology of today. You believe things like a lucky guess. How, is, how did scientists know so much stuff? They probably guess and figure it out themselves. No, they use science in an appropriate manner. Just because it's too much for you to understand and comprehend doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Mitzi, hello. I'm really good at this. <laughs> What's up, Mitzi? Have you got any problems? Oh, it's so hot. I want it to be cold that I can feel shivers up and down my spine. But not the kind you get from hearing scary stories. I won't want that shivers. Mitzi, you need to identify your feelings properly. For, for example, when it becomes too cold that you get shivers up your spine, will you then yearn for the, the nice heat of summer? I think so. You need to prioritize. You need to stop looking at things in such a black and white manner. You can't look at the heat and go, Oh, I wish it was cold. And then when it's cold, go, Oh, I wish it was hot. The world doesn't work like that. Enjoy the time you have without wishing for other times. And you will enjoy yourself a lot more. All right, who's next? <laughs> Who wants some therapy? Hello, Hector. Oh, but you got a lot of problems. What is it? Your beak? Your little comb? Hey, aren't muscle cramps just the best? Are muscle cramps the best? You say I'm a freak for liking a good muscle cramp? Oh, okay, easy. So, you have you have freaked out unnaturally and unnecessarily because of something that you have assumed is a good thing. Possibly because you've told yourself it's a good thing in order to get by. For example, you clearly work out a lot and therefore you get a lot of muscle cramps. So you have forced yourself to believe that getting muscle cramps is a good thing because that means it equals having exercise to the correct amount. Despite the fact that muscle cramps are a bad thing, they hurt you and maybe uh, point to the fact that you overexerted yourself. You refuse to believe that reality and think that it's a good thing and have fooled yourself into thinking that muscle cramps are are a good thing and I, f I feel like you need to take a step back and look at, at at the world and yourself and your role in the world and realize that maybe you're over setting yourself too much easy that was an easy one there's the apples there's the apples <laughs> maybe I should become a therapist <laughs> I can't believe I'm diagnosing everybody. Oh, I can't wait till I get to Tom. He's going to have some real anger issues. Hello. What's your problem? What the hey? Oh, boy. I hope you're in a good mood, Ricky. Because I'm going to diagnose you. A little bird told me you got a perfect painting. Looks like you do. I've been looking for one of them for quite some time. I want that. And I'm willing to give you either my cabin rug or chic wall. Ah, uh, let's go to the rug. I, I figured you want the carpet. Anyway, here's my cabin rug. All right, dude. So you're clearly bargaining for something above your station. You really, really wanted that that artwork for some reason. Um, possibly to try and fool either you, or your your neighbors into thinking that you are a man of high society. And as a result, you decided to bargain with your neighbors with something of less value uh, monetarily carpets or um, wallpaper material things that people would normally have in their house and you've traded that for something that most people would not have in their house aka a piece of fine art that's very interesting I think it says a lot about you this coconut tree is growing this coconut tree is not growing was a sizzle you're dead. All right, Gwen. You. Oh no, that was a different bear. All right. I was like, you're you're over at your house at the le right hand side of the the map, but that was the other bear. His name I can't remember. Cherry. Yeah. All right. Stop talking and talk to me. It's time for my pop quiz. How fun! If you get it correct, I'll give you a gorgeous prize. Which event is not held in August? 
Uh, meteor shower. Fuck, do we do... I haven't seen it. When is the meteor shower? No prize for me. Okay, so you're very angry at, at the world, and that is not my problem. You have a, you, you try to frame everything as if you're the best and everybody else is below you, and that is anger issues that you need to work out yourself. We, If you want to come back for another therapy session, uh, I'll gladly help you out. There's Tom. Good morning. It's time to leave to make me think the whole grading thing is difficult. Interesting, interesting. You know, it's not like I always have interesting things to talk about. You have low self-esteem. I want I came up to you because I wanted to talk to you. For you to blow me off because you think you're not interesting. Uh, it disrespects both me and you. And I feel like you need to have a little bit more self-respect and believe in yourself more. The reason I wanted to talk to you is because I believe in the quality of the things you have to say. Hello. I don't want any. <laughs> this is going to be good. Here we go. Who's next? What's up? Do you prefer hot weather or cold weather? Me, I crave winter when it's hot. I miss summer when it's cold. That's exactly what I was talking about with Mitzi. For, funny enough, I was talking to... I was looking forward to talking to Tom because I thought he was going to be the, the, the hardest one to read because he's so angry all the time. Tom might be the one with, with his head screwed on the, the, the most. He's very overly emotional, but possibly in a good way. He lets his emotions out and therefore doesn't let them bottle in and uh, overrule him. And therefore has quite a level head when it comes to a lot of things like that. So, excellent work, Tom. Hello! He's next. Tom's doing the best so far, I think. This is really fun. <laughs> it's so hot. I want it to be cold that I can feel shivers up and down my spine. Not the kind you hear from... Okay, you have the same problem that Mitzi has, which means that I like you because you're like Mitzi. However, you will need to listen to the advice I gave to Mitzi and stop being in so much uh, uh, of a contrarian. You need to uh, enjoy the summer while you have it. And I think you will have a good time. Now, is Sprocket in his house? No. Sprocket would be good to talk to Sprocket is new, and he hasn't heard my, my wonderful uh, techniques for diagnosing people and their problems. And I would love to, to help him out with whatever it is that heals him. Whatever it is that heals the robot, because he is the robot kin. So let's see. Hello, Bell. What's your issue? Are you explodey? Don't. That's a good start. Is this a joke, or are you just painfully unfunny? Have you heard anything about Crazy Red's furniture? This freakish fox thing runs the Emporium, but he's a totally shady place if you ask me. He's got some really rare stuff up there, but it's a lot of plain old boring junk. Okay, so I feel like you're listening to rumors more so than you are listening to your own heart. You call him a shitty fox thing. I think that that is the talk of the town and not necessarily the talk of you. You're just repeating what other people have said about him and... You're upset about him, possibly because he screwed you over, but you're going a little bit too overboard with your criticisms of him. He's just a fox trying to make a living. And is the only other person trying to make a living in town other than Tom Nuke. So maybe that should be listened to. There's no planetarium here in Finkley, is there? This time it'd be so much cooler if there was one, don't you think? It would be so cool if we had a planetarium. I don't care if you have to sell your house to do it. Build me a planetarium. There we go, we have a girl who is interested in science and interested in other other things in the world. However, they want somebody else to do all the work for them. They want to achieve greater heights, but also don't want to put the work in. So while that just seems like projecting and talking about a, a planetarium, really, the problem is you need to uh, take some of that responsibility for yourself. That's what I think about that. I'm just going to send these letters. Pally, I feel like, is somebody who is stuck in a rut. Her counterpart, whatever her name is, the the angry pelican, is a vision, a vision of her future. If she continues to work in the post office for so long without a proper break or without a future, she's just going to end up like the angry pelican who's stuck in a rut and doesn't know what to do with her life. So I would advise her to go on a holiday or possibly get a new job. Do I want to talk to Eloise? So many people. All right, we haven't talked for three weeks. You're a little bit passive aggressive. That's interesting. I'm begging you, would somebody please change that hideous tiny tune? It's so incredibly bad, it makes my stomach turn. Somebody doesn't like 
As somebody who's a little bit too privileged. I, d ha, I highly doubt you have a talented bone in your body, but you do seem to be able to run fast. You are very privileged. Somebody else has come up with this time chain. You have moved into this time yourself, and now you want the time to change just to suit your own needs. And to do that, you will clearly make fun of other people. For example, saying I have no tune in my body, but I can run fast. Uh, making an example out of me, which is unnecessary. Trying to put yourself over at the expense of others. You're a very selfish, inconsiderate person, and you need to change your ways. Hi, Stu. <laughs> What's up? You know what? I've got this amazing idea. Why don't we trade something of yours for something of mine? Okay, what do you got? Cabin rug, perfect. What do you got? Furniture, carpet, wallpaper, furniture. You want furniture? I've got this lime chair. Okay. Well, you just seem like a fun guy who's, who's playing the game. Not a whole lot I can diagnose right there. I enjoyed this game. Thank you very much, Stu. It's nice to have a friend who's willing to take a few risks. I agree. Stu, you're a good kid. Tom and Stu have their heads on correctly. Mitzi and... What's her name? I, I like him. Maybe not correctly, but I like him. Jam bet. All right, well, that was free diagnosis with Captain Explody. I was a therapist. I gave everybody some therapy, and that came out way better than I thought it was going to. <laughs> wow, I diagnosed everybody. Well, there were a couple of people I missed, but still, I got pretty much everybody, I think. Uh, so there you go. Thank you very much for watching today's episode. I told you I was a therapist. I'll be back again tomorrow for more Animal Crossing shenanigans. So oh, you won't want to miss it. Check it out. And I'll see you then. Goodbye.